I scoured the web to bring you the best five high yield savings accounts. All these in traditional mortgage and FDIC insured. I personally do not keep all of my money in any single one of these accounts. It's smart to spread your money out between multiple accounts, whether you are or aren't under that $250,000 covered by FDIC insurance. You have counterparty risk with all banks, no matter if it's Chase or one of the other big banks or any of these online savings accounts. You are trusting someone else with your money because we know none of these banks have all of our money. My dad said I need to put in the banks on the row over the years. Well, that's fantastic. A really smart decision, young man. Damn, it's gone. With that being said, subscribe and like this video and maybe spread your money out a bit. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. What's all gone? The money in your account. It didn't do too well. It's gone. What do you mean? I, I have a hundred dollars. Not anymore, you don't. Oof. This is not financial advice. You have to make up your own decisions. This is just what I do. Let's kick this off with SoFi, my first high yield savings account, earning you 4% APY on your money. They also have two day early paycheck. Please be careful with this one. And an auto savings feature. Also vaults where you can start saving up for multiple different things like a house, car, vacation, whatever you want to do. You can put money aside every paycheck to save up for those goals. You can also set money up for reoccurring deposits. Say you get paid every other week. You can throw $50 or whatever works for you in there automatically out of your paycheck. It's pretty simple. That way you don't have to actually make that transfer happen. It just automatically happens. And when you get this account, you can also cash in on a $250 bonus when you set up a direct deposit. No, this is a promotion running right now. I do not know how long this will last. They also have an all-in-one interface with a lending arm, brokerage account, crypto trading, checking account, vault feature, credit card, and more. Plus a little bonus for daily check-ins. So open your app every day. It's not much, but it'll get you something. On to prize pool, the top prize link savings account in my opinion. The no lose lottery. You legitimately get tickets into a lottery just by saving money and you can't lose. With prize pool stacked, earn 4.25% APY on your money. Just make sure it's in the vault. And you get prizes on top of that. None of these prizes are guaranteed, but the chance to win prizes is there every single week when they draw on Friday. This last week, I won $27.41. Not a bad week on top of interest as well. They also have a debit card, which by using for purchases gets you extra points. And also the option to set up reoccurring deposits as well. Set up a $50 or more reoccurring deposit and get yourself an extra 5,000 tickets a month. Oh, and with prize pool stacked, they now have a spin the wheel function, which you can spend some of your tickets to spin the prize wheel whenever you want. Never know how much you're going to win, but it's a little extra money. This account more than any other account we're talking about definitely gamify savings, getting you interested in saving and actually having fun doing it. Believe me, the app is kind of addicting. Now on the downside, with prize pool stacked, it is a $99 annual fee. <sighs> so unless you are putting a decent amount of money in here, there's not really a point to taking advantage of the stacked function. Now, if you're just trying to test out the platform, you can use their regular wallet, which does get you 0.3% APY, so nothing special but the option to win those prizes as well, every single Friday. If you're interested in this account, check out that link floating over my head. That is an interview to one of the members of the prize pool team as we go through pretty much everything about prize pool. And this was pre-stacked launch when they were just getting ready to launch stacked. Now, my referral link is in the description below. You don't have to use it, but use someone's referral link when signing up for prize pool. You get a 10% boost on all of your winnings every single week, as long as you have an account open. It's definitely going to do you a disservice not to use a referral link. Now, me or whomever else referral link you use will also get a 10% boost on any prizes you win. Nothing out of your pocket or our pocket. So why not use it? Again, link in the description below. And while we're on that topic, all of the links to these high yield savings accounts are going to be in the description, some of which are referral links and some of which are just links. Then that will lead you right to it. I'm thinking, hmm. Yeah, mm. you should probably hit that like button and subscribe if you're loving this content and really makes me want to make more videos for you. Plus, I want to keep hanging out with you. So follow along for my future videos. Now on to Wealthfront. This is your boring old high yield savings account. So if all you want to do is put your money in, set it in and forget it, this is probably the account for you. The individual cash count earns you 4.05% APY on your money. Now you can boost your APY to 4.55% for three months by referring someone. So if you use my link, you are helping me out a little bit, 
But after you open it up, you can refer someone else. They are FDIC insured up to $2 million, so they claim. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but that's what you see right when you open up their account. Now, all of these accounts at this point, I personally use. These next two accounts, I do not have. But this one is a little appealing. And I'm keeping my eye on it. With M1 Finance, you can earn 4.5% APY on your savings and 3.3% APY on your checking account and 1% cash back for all debit card purchases. Now, if you've watched my video on credit cards and why I would always use a credit card over a debit card, it's linked right above me. That is the best and most informative video I have ever made on my channel. Definitely click that link and watch that. It just explains why you should never use debit cards and always use credit cards. I know, kind of sounds crazy. Believe me, after watching the video, you'll get the point. Either way, if you do use that debit card, you get 1% cash back. You can also trade in their brokerage account and they do offer margin trading. Before I get to this last high yield savings account, I do want to tell you, all of these rates are at the time of making this video. The rates have been moving drastically up and down lately, so I don't know where these rates will be in the future. Our fifth high yield savings account, Primus Savings. Earn 4.35% APY on your money, and you only need $1 to open this account. No service fees, no transaction limits, fee-free incoming wires, which is pretty typical. They also offer CDs with terms of six to 72 months, as well as IRAs, health savings accounts, checking accounts, and mortgages. So what's your favorite out of these? Or is there a high yield savings account you are using that I didn't talk about? I would love to know. So comment below and tell me what I'm missing. And hey, you've watched me all the way to this point. YouTube says you should watch these two videos next. So go ahead and give those a click.